What's good, YouTube? It's your boy, D-Hoops, and I'm back with another blessing. And, man, it is Monday. It is Monday. It's cloudy outside, you know what I'm saying? It was raining earlier, but, you know what I'm saying? That's not going to stop the bangers. ain't going to stop the blessings from coming, man. Uh, I just want to say I really appreciate you guys for watching. I know there's going to be big things coming for this channel. Um, you know what I'm saying? Thank God for waking me up to be able to give you this information. Um, thank you guys for watching. Whoever watches this, you know, I really appreciate you from the bottom of my heart, you know what I'm saying? Because you care to watch this whenever you please, you know, and, you know, that that to me is the best because you don't have to watch it. So I really appreciate you and I love you for that. Um, before we get into this, make sure you like, comment, subscribe for more bangers, you know, and turn the post notification bell, you know, like, turn the post notification bell and I'll let you know whenever I post, you know, because that's, I'm going to post every day. So yeah, that let you know that, you know, I'm going to drop the Bangles every dirt. You know what I'm saying? But look, today I wrote this stuff down. We got nine signs you haven't accepted yourself. And you know, I want to make this video because I feel like a lot of us in this world have not accepted ourselves. And I'm here, I'm here to tell you, you know what I'm saying? These are the signs that you haven't because you, you probably feel like you question like you do, but then you question like you don't. But if these signs apply to you, you know what I'm saying? This is how you can work on this and et cetera, et cetera. So let's get into it. The first one constant doubt in your own decisions and what this means is like it doesn't matter what you do in life doesn't matter like your goals for you know anything that you want to do you doubt yourself you don't have the confidence in yourself to do what you want to do you know what i'm saying like it doesn't matter any field career it can be sports it can be anything that you love to do any career that you want to strive to be great in it's like you doubt your own talent and it's like you practice it like you practice whatever you do you put you're all, you put your own money, your love, your passion into this goal, but you doubt yourself because you probably don't see the results immediately, or it's because you got somebody in your ear saying, ah, you know, I don't think this is this, this, this and that. doesn't matter. Don't ever doubt yourself because doubt, you might, for one, God does not like that. God, God does not like when you doubt yourself because for one, as beautiful hu human beings, as beautiful souls, we don't have doubt. Doubt is having fear that's a sin all that stuff is sin because we don't we know we we believe in ourselves the, the the children of god we all believe in ourselves why because we're here for a reason who gives a fuck if we mess up that is okay at least you are trying you have the guts to try so if you want to be in the theater if you want to be in a play you fuck around and bust your ass you know what i'm saying you slip on a banana or some shit people laugh who gives a fuck Hey, get up, do that shit again, because at least you're on that stage performing, doing what you love to do. A lot of them people laughing, they won't even have the guts to do that shit. They're just laughing because it's you. But let it be them. Oh, boy, let it be them. You know what I'm saying? Like, don't ever doubt yourself. Uh, if the results don't come, you have to be patient. You have to stay focused, stay patient, because good things come to those that wait. Don't sit there and doubt yourself, ever. I promise you, don't ever doubt your own decisions. Don't... Like, do what you want to do. If it if you love it, if it makes you happy, go for it. Go chase that goal, you know what I'm saying? The second one, you aren't comfortable being alone. And a lot of y'all aren't comfortable being alone because a lot of you guys, y'all like to go club with your friends. It doesn't matter what situation it is, you always have to be around somebody. You can't really be in your own personal space because you don't even know yourself. Really, a lot of y'all don't know yourselves. You just, y'all have other people... Feel, you know, like y'all have other people to fill that void, you know, of emptiness and the loneliness because you haven't accepted who you are, and that's okay. We're all here to grow, we're all here to, we're all here to, we are all here to heal. Holy shit, we can't talk today. Come on, hoops. But no, nah, for real though, like you gotta be comfortable being alone because you are your own best friend. You know what's best for you. Nobody else does. People can say this and that, but that's from their perspective. They're not really seeing the vision that you got going on. And for you to, you know, think about all these great things you have in mind, you have to sit with yourself and you have to learn who you are, learn your passions, learn all the things that are good for you, because this will help you learn and help you grow into what you want to be into life. Don't, don't expect people to know who you are for real, for real, because nobody really knows you. You know what I'm saying? Like, spend time with yourself. Why not love yourself? Care to yourself. Have a self-care day. You know what I'm saying? Play the music you like. Eat the food that you like. Watch the TV shows you like. Why not just sit there in some silence, you know, read a book. Be with yourself because this helps you come to peace within life. And it helps you just grow as a human being, man and woman. We all need to be amongst ourselves at times, you know, because a lot of people can be overwhelmed 
by just having so many people around it just it should be overwhelming because it's like you don't have to be around somebody all the time you need that personal space to help you grow and to you know have better in life third one you're always looking at your flaws and for this one it's okay it's see it's it's human you know it's human nature to do that but your flaws are what make you and regards i don't care what flaws you have i don't care you know what I'm saying? If you feel like your nose is big, you feel like your ears are big, you feel like your head is big, if you feel like you got a gap, if you feel like you're short, tall, whatever, if you feel like these are your flaws, it doesn't matter. These shits make you beautiful because owning up to these will make you feel way better because it doesn't matter. If people can make funny, who gives a fuck? A lot of people have their own flaw shit. I got flaws too, it doesn't even matter. But either way, I love my flaws and other people too because it's like you had the guts to sit there and love yourself. Even if you feel like it's ugly, I promise you, somebody out there will love your flaws better than you love your own. Really think about that. Like somebody will, like somebody can ask you what your flaw is, and I promise you, you'll, you'll tell them. They'll be like, oh, "That's your flaw." Wow. I mean, either way, I still think you're beautiful. I still think you're handsome, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. You're like, "What? The hell? What you talking about?" Like people don't care about none of that. They see past this. They see past the flesh. So it's like the flaws don't matter. These are what make you. These are what make you. Like you, you're beautiful inside and out. Doesn't matter. Fuck a flaw. You know, like love yourself. Love you. You know what I'm saying? God made you in his image. So therefore, you should know that you're beautiful. You're destined for greatness. So own up to that. Don't sit there. Don't don't dwell on your own flaws, bro. Those make you. You they make you beautiful. Without them, who would you really be? Don't focus on that too much. You know what I'm saying? You have you can always improve. You can always heal. Tell yourself in the mirror you love yourself and you love your flaws. Simple as that. That's the best way to overcome them. That's the best way to be happy about them. Simple as that. You're the best thing ever. And your flaws are the best thing ever. You know what I'm saying? I'm here to tell you that. I'll tell you that to your face. Your flaws are what make you. Your flaws are beautiful. Nobody really going to tell you that. The next one. You feel like you aren't ready. You feel like you aren't ready for life. You feel like you aren't ready to detach from, you know, negative things that have made your life to what it is. You feel like you're just not ready to take that next step. But you are. It's just that you're scared, you know, you're doubtful, you don't know what's next. And that's the whole point of life. We're not supposed to know what's next. That's why you stay in the present moment and you always stay ready. Because if you stay ready, you don't have to get ready. That's that's the whole point. You know, you just, you pray, you talk to God, talk to yourself about all it is that you want to do. And tell yourself, I'm ready for this. Whatever challenge you think is like, oh, it's scary. I don't know what's going to happen. No, don't go into that. Don't don't go into that mindset because if you do that, you're going to fold, you're going to fuck up, and then you're really going to be in a shithole. Nah, whatever it is, attack it. Act like, man, this shit, I ain't like, whatever. I promise you, when you conquer whatever it is, whatever it is that you, you know what I'm saying, that you aren't ready for, it's, you're going to look at this shit like in a, a year later, you're going to be like, man, I was scared to do this. Like, what? Come on. Like, really think about that. Like, you're ready for anything you put your mind to. Don't sit there and doubt yourself. Don't sit there and think you're not ready for anything this world has to provide. Because you can conquer anything. Nothing is impossible. I promise you. Comparing yourself to others all the time. Stop doing that. That's the one thing. That's that's the that's the craziest shit we do. Stop comparing yourself. You, people, um, the one thing we understand, in, like, in everybody's lives, a lot of people are where they're at for a reason. And that's just not for you to figure out. What you need to figure out is don't compare yourself to nobody but yourself. You are you are your biggest enemy. Look in that mirror and tell yourself, man, did I get better than I was yesterday? Okay, you say, no, let's get better today. Then tomorrow comes. Was I better than I was yesterday? You are your biggest enemy, but guess what? You should always love yourself. You are competing against you. Nobody else. Don't compare yourself to the, the people who made it before you. Clap for them because their their journey is different than yours. Either way, do not compare yourself to nobody in the industry. I don't care if a celebrity, an athlete, musician, whatever the case may be. Don't do that. Don't compare yourself to you. Be better than you were yesterday. Because comparing yourself, you're just going to get mad. You're going to try to, you know what I'm saying, idolize and mold your lifestyle to theirs. And it's just like, that's not you. You're going to be living their life in your eyes. And that's like just two people. Just be yourself. Because if you follow somebody, you just, no, it's not going to work out for you. And you're going to get exposed and whatever is done in the dark will come to the light. So be yourself. Don't be in a situation, you know what I'm saying? Like, you, you, you're the best person ever. Don't compare yourself to another motherfucker. They don't even know you exist. Come on, man. The next one, the big, you're your biggest critic. And which this is true. We all are our biggest critic because we love to achieve greatness but you guys gotta understand don't be too hard on yourself everything is not 
going to go the way it's supposed to be for you and that's okay that's why there is trial and error that's why you are able to wake up and do that again you practice and practice and practice don't sit there and beat yourself up because you did not accomplish this thing immediately because if you did everybody could do it so therefore don't sit there and think that don't think like that don't be your own creator don't beat yourself up don't get mad if you don't see instant results don't be mad if it's not working out in your favor Always be patient because I promise you, when you master whatever craft it is that you love, you're going to look back on it and be like, why was I why was I so hard on myself? Like, come on now. But that's that's how it goes. And it's okay, though. You're a human. And either way, don't sit there and just, you know what I'm saying? Don't, don't get mad at yourself. Don't get sad. Don't get depressed. Don't get in your feelings. Don't even vent to nobody about that. But God... Give your problems to God. If you feel your own credit, don't don't worry about that. Let let God judge you. And either way, God loves you because you're progressing whatever you do. So don't do that. Don't be your own credit. The next one, you can't find peace within you. And with peace, you know, for example, like me, I would be like I operate at peace. Like I don't see, I don't think a lot of things need to have a reaction because when you reach a certain consciousness in life, when you reach a certain intellectual capacity. A lot of things don't need a reaction. They don't. Because you really can, like, with life, there's already an agenda. There is already a plan set in motion within life. So, therefore, you overreacting, you're reacting to certain things that you can't change. You It's just going to make you mad, and you're just going to, you're going to knock your own self off of course. You need to find peace within yourself. Don't sit here and go to things that will disrupt your peace, make you mad, sad, you know what I'm saying? Make you act out a certain way. Don't do that, because that's not even the real you. You acting off of emotion. Nah, stay calm, stay positive, stay at peace, because you doing that, you're able to see things clearly, and you're able to feel way better than if you was mad, sad, whatever, because I promise you, you go through those emotions, you're just going to regret that shit later on. You're going to be like, damn, I shouldn't have did that, et cetera. Find peace, man. You know, have, say a prayer, go for a walk, take a cold shower, eat your favorite food, go out for a drive, you know, just do something because those things are peaceful. Listen to music, you know what I'm saying? Just be chill. Don't, don't, don't overreact to shit that doesn't need a reaction. You know what I mean? The next one, you need others to validate, you know what I'm saying, what you do. And with that, it's like you have a proof. Like, you need people to agree with whatever you got going on. You want people to, you know what I'm saying, like, bro, validate like that right there. You need somebody to validate you. You don't. You don't need nobody to validate what the hell you do with your life. Understand, this is your life. You are the main character of this whole plot. You are the director. You are the protagonist, the antagonist. You are you. This is your movie. This is your life. Whatever your name is out there, understand you don't need nobody to correct whatever you got going on. Because if you feel like... This is what's perfect to me. This is what makes me happy. I'm going to do it my way. I don't care what nobody says. And if they don't agree with you, then you can hit the curb. Simple as that. Because this is your life. Don't let other people determine what you want to do. Don't let people sit there and judge you. Know, who gives a fuck? They want to judge you? I don't care. I'm going to do it my way. If you don't like it, that's fine. Don't let other people validate you, bro. That shit's not cool. That shit really whack. You're just going to waste your time. Don't, don't, you don't got time for that. You need to grow within yourself. Find out who you are because when you find out who you are, you wouldn't need nobody to validate you because it doesn't matter. People's opinions don't really matter. What matters is what you think is beautiful and what you think makes you happy and what helps you grow. You know what I'm saying? Don't, don't, don't do that shit. Don't, yeah. Then the last one, you need others to love you. And with that, I promise y'all, this is the hardest truth. A lot of people do not love you. And it can be family, friends, you can be coworkers. A lot of people do not love you. They like that you're around, they like that you are there. But when it comes to love, that's a strong word. And I promise you, a lot of people don't love you out here. And with that, you gotta understand, you gotta match a detachment. You got to, because with love, how people out here will not show that shit because why? They don't even love themselves. So, if they don't love themselves, how would you expect them to love you? You know what I'm saying? Think, really think about that. If these motherfuckers out here don't love themselves, why would they love you? Why would you want love from them? You need to love yourself before anybody else can love you. Before you even get into, a, into like a, a serious relationship with somebody. You have to love yourself first because only you know you. Can't nobody else love you but you and God. Simple as that. Your own parents probably don't even know who you are, but they love you. 
know what I'm saying? Like, how you love me, but you really don't want to get to know me and get to know who I am. How how do you love me, but you cross my, like, you, you know what I'm saying? You, you stab me in my back as my friend. How do you love me, but you talk behind my back? You know what I'm saying? You don't need people to love you, and, and that's okay. As long as you know God loves you and you love yourself, that's all that matters. Now, of course, there are some good people that do love you out there. They just don't know how to express that. But with love, you got to understand a lot of people will not show that in this lifetime. And that's that's just how it is. It has to be like that. And if that's the case, if they're around you, you got to detach yourself because, you know what I'm saying, if people don't love you, that shit comes with hate. And you know what happens when, when it comes to hate. We don't nobody got time for that because that shit can get you wiped off the map. And yeah, so therefore you need to love yourself because loving yourself, you're going to stay positive. You're going to stay grounded. You're going to stay humble. And you wouldn't need nobody to love you because you love yourself. You you know, you're your best friend. And that's all that matters. So, you know what I'm saying? But with these nine signs, I really hope you guys just, you know, accept yourself. Accept who you are. You're here for a reason. You're here for a purpose. Figure out what that is. You know what I'm saying? Be, you're, you're destined for greatness. You're destined for a great life. So why not? Figure it out what it is you're here for. You have, you have, uh, and you know, you have, a, you have some time. You got time. Nobody knows when life is going to end. Live every day like it should last. Figure out what it is you want to do in life. Love yourself. Take care of yourself all the time because if nobody tells you, I'm going to tell you, I love you. I'm proud of you. You know what I'm saying? You're doing great and wonderful things. Don't doubt yourself. Look in the mirror every day and tell yourself, you know what? I'm talking about like dead ass. Look in the mirror when you get up and be like, I love myself, whatever your name is, you know what I'm saying? I'm going to call you, you know what I'm saying, Beethoven. I love myself, Beethoven. You're beautiful, Beethoven. You, you're you growing, Beethoven. You're you're accomplishing great things, Beethoven. Keep it up, Beethoven. You know what I'm saying? Like, just, just say them things. Like, you have a nice body, Beethoven. I love my body. I look good. I love my swag. You know what I'm saying? I love my drip. I love my hair. All that shit, man. You do that, bro. You going to, people are going to, like, they're going to see that. So, I hopefully I, I really hope this video helps you guys. You know what I'm saying? And I love you, man. Stay up, stay positive. You know what I'm saying? D hoops and gone.